guys, here uh, we are for the month of November doing another art journal page on an oversized playing card. Now, I've been doing these all year and I just wanted to let you all know you can get these big playing cards in a lot of different places. I know I've seen them every time I've been to Las Vegas. I've seen them in the gift shops all over the place. I will put an Amazon link where you can get them in the description below. I got these from my friend Cindy Utter. You do when you buy them get a pack of 52 like regular playing cards. Um, and if you're going to do something like mixed media on them you probably don't need that many so I would suggest maybe splitting them with one or two friends like we did uh, okay so I wanted to do something uh, celebrating the year I was born I did not want to have to paint my face again so I am gonna start by collaging my face onto the card I printed out um, a photo of myself really large so that I could um, just collage it onto the card with some gel medium. I do recommend you give the cards a light sanding um, or with lighter medium grit sandpaper, um, sorry, finer medium grit sandpaper, and then um, wipe it off and then use uh, PVA glue or gel medium to collage down onto the card. And if you're gonna paint on the card, um, give it a nice coat of gesso first and let it dry. So once I had that on here, then it was just a matter of cleaning up my mess, making sure the image was in the gel medium all the way, and um, letting it dry before we go forward. Now in 1963, which is the year I was born, um, is the year that John F. Kennedy was assassinated. He was assassinated a couple of months after I was born. I was born in August. The cost of living in the United States um, was very inexpensive. Uh, the average household income was $5,807 a year and the cost of the average house it was 12650 Significant changes from the current costs. Um, gas was 29 cents a gallon and a loaf of bread cost 22 cents. I miss those days. <laughs> um, the biggest news of the year, of course, was John F. Kennedy being assassinated. Um, the Caribbean was hit by Hurricane Flora. Alcatraz Penitentiary in San Francisco was closed. And the Beatles released I Want to Hold Her Your Hand. So those are some of the many things that happened in 1963. And one thing I didn't know was the USSR uh, put the first woman in space. Good for them. Um, and there was a big scandal involving one of the people from the House of Commons. John Profomo, I'm sure I butchered that. He had an affair with somebody uh, that he shouldn't have. Anyway, it's a big thing here on thepeoplehistory.com. So I um, went and did some research about the things I wanted to attach to my card regarding the year I was born. And I wanted to, of course, add a little bit of a t artistic something to the photo that I'd collaged on there. And I did, of course, trim the edges, as you saw, and I did ink them a little bit. Um, I'm using some of my favorite Bic pens and things to just add some fun artistic marks and one of my lettering stencils to add the year that I was born, 1963. I printed out some of the facts about the year on a piece of just regular printer paper. Now, both of the image and the facts are printed on a standard HP inkjet printer. They are not anything special. You just need to make sure when you use images and printing from an inkjet printer um, with standard ink that you don't get the front surface too wet because the ink will run um, and that you make sure it's really dry. So that's really the only trick. Um, I haven't had too much problem with it not staying dry. So that being said, um, we are using, I believe if I'm not mistaken, that might be a uh, feud ball pen in my hand because it has a bigger nib. I can't honestly really tell from the photo and I don't remember one of my many, I just, I just grabbed one that worked. Um, that's not a bit crystal, it's something else from my stash. Um, fun fact, this video was filmed in my old studio in California before we moved. Um, it was filmed around June, July, somewhere in there. I am now going to cut out the texts um, regarding the fun facts from 63 that I wanted to save. And I am going to 
arrange them on the page in a way um, I don't want to cover up my face necessarily um, but I want to use the text to add to the page in an artistic sort of way um, or graphic sort of way um, so we've got them cut out here and I'm going to use just a Yoohoo glue stick one of my favorite things to uh, glue especially printer uh, things from my printer down on my artwork it's also fun and quick and easy and you don't have to wait for things to dry which I really I have no patience I, I have the patience of a gnat just fun fact about me I should have put that on the page <laughs> uh, anyway there um, it is and it's looking really good I am going to outline the um, sections with a pen um, this is a Papermate Inkjoy, and you know the other one might have been a Papermate pen also. I don't think it was though. I think it was a feud ball. Um, this is a Papermate Inkjoy. Easy things from the office supply store. I don't generally have lots of hard to find supplies. I do put some journaling on the page. My thoughts on the year that I was born and myself. You can put anything on there. Have fun with it. Explore yourself and the year you were born. And don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Also, liking, sharing, and subscribing would be super helpful. Um, there are two more videos like this I'm going to re-edit and I'm going to air um, soon. One of them involves the last page for the month, the year, and another one involves a fun storage container for them. Uh, so if you want to do something like this, of course, you could do it on cardstock, chipboard, you don't have to use a playing card. So have fun with it, explore it, and I will see you in the next video.